everyone and my goal in this video is to show you Altair Inspire and running a simulation on new implicit geometry. We've created a few videos already that kind of talk about how to create that geometry and in this one I want to take that next step and run the simulation on that geometry. So I've modeled up a simple control arm for a suspension here just to have a very simple example to show you. So I have sliced up this model and I've separated that core internal part from the rest of the arm and my goal in the video is to create a lattice structure on the internal uh, core part of it using implicit geometry. So from the implicit modeling tab, I'm gonna highlight that center part that I wanna uh, change into a lattice, and then I'm gonna find the planar option in the ribbon. Now my lattice orientation by default is on the Z axis. I'm just gonna change it quickly in the menu here to the Y axis. Now I do have a few options on how I can change my lattice. I'm just going to adjust my thickness and my width a little bit, leave it as a hexagon shape, but I'm just trying to find that shape that I think will work well. Now I wanna create a clean trim for an outer edge. So I'm gonna come up here to the outer body in the same menu, and then I'm gonna find the shell option. Now I wanna use the original arm design as the geometry to trim my lattice to. The transition is a fillet, so I'm gonna find that in the dropdown and then click the original arm design. So now you can see that the geometry has been created and it has a clean trim that helps me connect it to my original arm design. So since I want to run the simulation on the arm design and the new implicit geometry, what I'll do is come back to my geometry tab and find the Boolean option. And then from there, it's pretty simple. You find the target, which is the original arm design, and then the tool, which is the new lattice structure, click the green check to combine the parts. So now you can see the parts have been combined into a single part over here on the left-hand side. So now I can move into setting up my study. If I come to the structures tab, I'm gonna click the constraints here, and then I'll just choose these two holes. Then I can apply a load. I'm gonna find the force option, and I'm gonna put it on this hole over here, and then I'll just make sure it's on the X axis to make sure the load is going down on my part. So now I can run the simulation. Because I'm using the SimSolid solver, that's inside of Altair Inspire, it actually shortens the amount of time needed to run the simulation. You don't have to create a mesh. And even though I sped this up, the entire analysis took about 35 seconds in total. So now we can look at the results. I can start with displacement. You can run a quick animation and see how your part deforms under a load. Then obviously you can look at stress. Now, the one thing I do love with Inspire is that it has so many visualization options for you. You can change, obviously, the wireframe. You can change the background. You can also do kind of a dragger scale to see the different levels of stress that you're finding. And again, this can all be recorded and exported as a video file that you could share with anybody internally. To learn more about Inspire, or if you have any questions, feel free to go to www.trueinsight.io. Thanks.